Hey guys, uh, so Stuart here. Um, we're going to take a quick step back again. Now we've talked about the income statement and balance sheet, and we're still going to talk about the um, the cash flow statement. But first I want to take a step back and, and let's just think about the five elements of financial statements, right? So there are indeed five, right? Here, here they are. Uh, assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, and expenses. It'll get really complex beyond this, right? Uh, the types of assets, the types of liabilities, the types of equity, uh, or, or the amounts of equity and how we calculate the equity, um, you know, what increases it and so forth, um, how we classify revenues and the different types of expenses, right? So it's going to get complex. All that is really accounting, right? This is, this is all accounting up to this point. We're not really diving into the finance side of it, certainly not into the managerial side, but you got to understand this so that you can make sense of the financial statements. And that's going to be critical for understanding how to think about the finance and how to think about the managerial sides. So what are assets? Well, those are things that are going to bring in money in the future, right? They're going to provide some type of what we call an economic benefit in the future, right? Liabilities, on the other hand, are things that we obligate us to pay money in the future. Money is going to go out uh, of, of the company. So we call that an economic obligation, right? Or an economic burden. So economic benefit, economic burden. Now, <clears throat> assets, as, as we learned in a, in a previous video, assets, at which we'll call A, are equal to liabilities, L plus equity, right? So basically, the equity is how much uh, of the value of the firm that we keep after our liabilities. So we say that we put in some money from our own pocket, right, and starting up the company, and then maybe sometimes we have to go to the bank, for example, or we have to go um, sell some bonds to shareholders. But all that gives us the amount of money, the amount of capital that we have that we can use to buy or build um, and or maintain our overall assets, right? Now, it's going to get a little, like I said, we're going to break this out a lot further, these types of assets and the and and how... Uh, we, we classify them current and long term and and so forth, but that's that's the the basics, right? And this is up to this point everything you're going to find on the balance sheet, right? So let's just let's go ahead and and classify that. These are all going to be on the balance sheet, the BS, to make it short. And then you have your revenues and expenses. So revenues are the, this is the money that we earn in an economic activity. So this is going to be a critical point. It's something that we earn, right, in an economic activity. So I sell you something, you give me some money for for that sales, then we then I've made some some money. I've earned that money. And the the tr key point behind that earning is sometimes you might give me some money for an activity that I haven't completely completed today. For example, let's say you're an architecture firm, right? And let's just say that you are hired to design a fancy new building and you are paid up front, say a million dollars for the entire project. Well, if you haven't delivered the final blueprints, if you haven't gone all the way through the construction project, then you haven't actually earned that money yet. So what we, what we will look at over time is, is that that is gonna be critical in understanding what amount of money we're showing as revenues on an income statement, right? So the point is that it does not mirror the amount of cash that's coming in and going out it mirrors instead the economic activity um, at, at its point in time. And the same thing goes with revenues, right? It's the amount of money that we spend on in an economic activity. So <clears throat> these are the two components that will be found on the income statement. Income statement, I, it's an I, S. All right, so now let's look at a, a kind of an example down here at the bottom. We can just kind of map these out. So when we look at a company, you know, in the assets category, we, we, we have these current assets. These are things that, that um, will turn into capital within, say, one year. We can turn into, into cash more specifically within one year. With This little sign means less than one year. And then we have our long-term assets. We can also call this fixed assets. And these are things that typically have a life value of greater than one year. Okay. So let's look at what, on, on this example, right? We have a coffee house down here at the bottom. 
Um, and let's look at maybe what are some of the assets that this company has. Well, we obviously we have the building, right? Well, let's just assume that the co that this company buys the building. Well, they own this building. Then they also have you know the tables and chairs, right? These these are assets. They have the the coffee making equipment. These are assets. Okay. And then all the 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 cash in the in the cash register those are those are assets as well. All right, so all these things are assets that a company has. However, they may not have bought, for example, this this building with ca with the cash from the cash drawer, right? Unless they're selling tons of coffee and they have nothing else to do uh, with the money, they most likely had to go to a bank of some sort to get the capital to to buy that. And last time we talked about that that's a mortgage, right? So if you get a loan that has property assigned to it, then that's what we call a mortgage, mortgage. Um, or, but they can go to the bank for any type of uh, mortgage, loans. They can get a long-term loan, long-term loan. By the way, let's put, I'm gonna put that two here. Um, and, and this could be something, you know, 10 years, uh, 20 years, 30 years, it can be it can be any number of things, or it could be a short term, right? It could be as short term as um, as a corporate credit card or the company's credit card, or what we call maybe revolving credit. All right, I just noticed my hand is sitting here. It probably looks like a claw coming up to get you, so I'll pull that out of the way so you can focus. All right, so we have different types of loans, and those are the types of liabilities uh, that that we have. Keeping it very simple. Now this guy over here, right? After after we subtract whatever we took from the bank to to buy all these things, hopefully there's some money left over, and that is going to go to him, right? So this is the equity. This is what he's in the game for. He's in here so that he can build this business, pay these people back, have some money left over, and hopefully he can um, he can get rich, right? So let's just put it out there. He wants to get rich. Of course, along the way, he's going to have a lot of customers who are going to come in. That's going to be these people in here, right? So these people are going to come in and they're going to say, give me coffee. I need coffee. For example, I go to Starbucks about four to five times a week. So you have a very good chance of finding me or my family in Starbucks uh, providing revenues to Starbucks. So that would be point number four. Now, for those coffee is to get into their hands for them to be able to sit down at the table and and drink the coffee of course they have to buy all of the coffee ahead of time they have to buy the cups they have to buy um you know all the all the the different things that go into that production so over here you know this company is going to spend right they're going to spend on expenses things like at the coffee farm at the coffee farm they're gonna to have to pay for the logistics of the, of the trucks to get it there, right? So the coffee goes into the trucks, uh, truck. Uh, so bags of coffee go into the trucks, they come to the coffee house, and then they have lots of other things. All the way from the, this is a light. Uh, is, that, is that a good light? It's a nice light. Um, you, they have to pay for the power to turn on the light. No, they have to pay for uh, things like the water, Let's make that. Uh, this is water uh, coming in that's used for for draining um, through the coffee grinds to make the coffee, and all types of other things, right? So, and we're going to dive into the details of each of those aspects. But the point here is this gives us a way to group up, right? We 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 group activities activities, and by being able to group them up into different categories, we can make sense of all these different economic activities that are going on and further break them out right into current assets and liabilities and then what are those different types of things we can defi define what is a revenue what is an expense and so forth so i'll pause now and then we'll we'll get back into the uh cash flow statements and then we'll we'll talk a little bit more about each of these accounts later on and then we'll move over into the actual financial statements analysis where we're going to take lots of ratios that understands how a company is doing well or bad uh, according to the numbers that we find uh, in the balance sheet and income statement from here. Okay, thanks. Have a great day and I'll talk to you again and uh, very soon. Bye.